Once upon a time, in a small village nestled between lush green hills, there lived a wise Zen master named Kaido. Kaido was known far and wide for his profound teachings on the art of time management. People from all walks of life would come to seek his guidance on how to find balance and serenity in their daily lives. The villagers regarded him as a beacon of wisdom and tranquility, Kaido's teaching on time management was not about calendars, schedules, or to-do lists, it was a profound philosophy rooted in the Zen way of life. He believed that true time management was not about controlling time but about understanding and harmonizing with it. His teachings were filled with stories, parables, and deep insights that offered timeless wisdom on how to live a more balanced and fulfilling life. One sunny morning, a young villager named Akira, overwhelmed by the demands of his daily life, approached Kaido for guidance. He wanted to learn the secret of managing his time and finding peace amid the chaos of his responsibilities. Kaido, with a warm smile, invited Akira to sit under the shade of a large oak tree, and he began to share his teachings. Chapter 1, The Dance of the Seasons, Kaido began by sharing a story about the changing seasons. He said, Akira, observe how nature manages its time. The seasons come and go without any rush or delay. Each season has its purpose. And it unfolds in its own time. The trees don't push their leaves to sprout in winter, and the flowers don't rush to bloom in spring. Just as nature respects its rhythm, you too must learn to respect the natural flow of time, Akira listened intently, and he understood that rushing through life and trying to control every moment was like trying to make the seasons change faster. Kaido's teaching was clear, to manage time, one must first respect its inherent rhythm, Chapter 2, The Empty Cup, Kaido then told Akira the story of a young scholar who came to him seeking wisdom. The scholar was eager to learn but began by talking about his own knowledge and accomplishments. He kept filling Kaido's teacup with his words, not realizing that the cup was already full, Kaido paused, emptied the cup, and said, you see, Akira, just as this cup needed to be emptied before I could fill it with tea, your mind needs to be emptied of preconceptions, worries, and distractions before you can effectively manage your time. A cluttered mind is like a full cup, there is no space for new experiences, insights, or serenity, Akira realized that to manage his time effectively, he needed to clear his mind and create space for what truly mattered. Chapter 3, The Pebbles in the Jar, Kaido then led Akira to a garden where there were two jars. One large and one small. Next to them were pebbles of various sizes. Kaido handed Akira the small jar and said, Your time is like this small jar, and the pebbles represent your priorities. If you try to fit the big pebbles in first, there won't be room for the small ones. But if you put the small pebbles in first, the big ones will fit around them. Akira realized that he often focused on the big tasks first, neglecting the smaller, more meaningful moments in life. Kaido's lesson was clear, manage your time by prioritizing what truly matters and let the less important things fill the gaps, Chapter 4, The Bamboo and the Oak, Kaido then took Akira to a nearby forest. He pointed to a tall, sturdy oak tree and a slender bamboo stalk. He said, Akira, observe these two trees. The oak is rigid and unyielding, while the bamboo is flexible and bends with the wind. In life, you must learn to be like the bamboo, adapting to the circumstances without losing your core integrity, Akira realized that rigidly adhering to a fixed schedule was causing him stress and frustration when unexpected events occurred. Kaido's teaching was clear, manage your time with flexibility and adaptability, allowing room for life's unpredictabilities. Chapter 5, The Water and the Stone Kaido invited Akira to sit by a tranquil pond. He picked up a stone and dropped it into the water, causing ripples to spread across the surface. Then, he picked up a smooth pebble and did the same. He said, Akira, just as the stone's rigid nature creates harsh ripples, the smooth pebble's softness creates gentle ripples. In time management, your approach can either create stress or serenity, Akira realized that his attitude toward time greatly influenced his experience. Kaido's lesson was clear, manage your time with a calm and peaceful mind, and your actions will have a more positive impact. Chapter 6, The Breath of Life, 
Kaido then guided Akira to practice mindful breathing. He said, Akira, your breath is the most natural and consistent rhythm in your life. By paying attention to your breath, you can learn to be present in each moment, whether it's a simple task or a complex project. This mindfulness will help you manage your time more effectively, Akira realized that his constant rushing and multitasking left him feeling scattered and stressed. Kaido's teaching was clear, manage your time by being fully present in each moment, just as you are present with each breath, chapter 7, the circle of no thing, as the sun began to set, Kaido and Akira returned to the village. Kaido shared his final teaching, Akira, remember that the essence of time management lies in embracing the no thing. It's not about adding more to your life but about subtracting the unnecessary, the trivial, and the distracting. In the empty space, you'll find the true richness of life, Akira realized that he had been constantly adding more tasks, more commitments, and more distractions to his life, leaving little time for what truly mattered. Kaido's lesson was clear, manage your time by subtracting the excess and embracing the essence of existence, as weeks turned into months, Akira diligently practiced the wisdom imparted by Zen master Kaido. He learned to respect the natural flow of time, empty his mind, prioritize effectively, be flexible, approach life with a peaceful attitude, be present in each moment, and embrace the simplicity of existence, over time, Akira found a profound transformation in his life. He no longer felt rushed or overwhelmed by the demands of daily life. Instead, he managed his time with a sense of calm and balance. He created space for what truly mattered, nurtured meaningful relationships, and experienced a deep sense of fulfillment in his work and personal life, the villagers noticed Akira's transformation and approached him, seeking advice on time management. With the wisdom passed down by Zen master Kaido, Akira became a source of inspiration and guidance for those in search of a more balanced and fulfilling life, and so, the teachings of Zen master Kaido continued to ripple through the village, touching the hearts and minds of all who sought to understand the art of time management, not as a means of control, but as a path to harmony and serenity in their journey through life. For loves and supports please like this video and subscribe my YouTube channel to get more valuable information.